the Tarkov Wipe. It only comes around but twice a year. It's a special time for Tarkov players everywhere. It's one full of load screens, server crashes and about two hours of actual gameplay. It can be a mixed bag, but we love it all the same. Of all the shops and all the streets of Tarkov, you had to walk into mine, didn't you? After being through so many different wipes, the novelty of the wipe day isn't exactly what it used to be, but it's still enough to get me excited after several months of a break. But why is that? What is it about the Tarkov wipe that is special? It's a number of things really. Day one can be a little bit of a blowout if you're unlucky, but the first week or two are usually an absolute blast. It's what we call early wipe. Everyone has a clean slate. All progress is reset. There's lots to do, and people love to rush through the levels, unlock traders, and get better gear. Now it might sound a little strange to non-Tarkov players out there, the idea of getting to a point that you were bored with only a week or two beforehand, but it makes sense. Trust me. But there is more to it than just a progress reset. You can reset your own progress at any time you want. And many do. But you're at a big disadvantage. Because most other people will have access to a constant stream of high tier gear. But an early wipe everyone is level. Kind of. There will always be those who play non-stop and get to endgame within a week or two followed by six months of complaining on reddit. I think this is on the fourth day of wipe we ran into a guy who was level 34 and another guy who was level 27. What you all do in your own time is your own business, but I'm worried these guys aren't getting enough sleep. The majority of people will take a lot longer to progress. Most people in the first week will be running either mediocre or absolute garbage gear, and it's great. Gunfights tend to last a little bit longer, and level 4 armor actually feels like it stops bullets. There's a real feeling of risk of carrying a gun or armor that you don't actually have access to and you might not be able to get for quite some time again. Early wipe does not last that long, but the gameplay inside in it is so satisfying. And then there's the quests. For reasons unknown to me, several hundred thousand people worldwide get excited at the prospect of finding Salawas, pump action shotguns and fetching a pocket watch from a lorry cab when they could be spending their holidays with loved ones. I am one of these people. Now in a previous video, I said that I was done with quests until wipe comes around. And at the time I said that, I was only like level 20 something. And here we are at early wipe, and I don't actually feel all that much different. Sure, I'll go get the pocket watch and I'll go get Jaeger his snacks. But you got another thing coming if you think I'm gonna spend any amount of appreciable time on shoreline. What are the chances that was a random nade and he doesn't actually know I'm here? Okay, it's a squad. I'm gonna stay nice and quiet in this little hidey hole. Okay, this guy looked geared. Look at this gun, the game wiped like five minutes ago. I'm already running into geared squads with like a million nades to be thrown around the place. Okay, moral of the story, don't corner yourself. Run in a squad and do not go to shoreline. I swear, there's some weird voodoo on shoreline. It's a big empty map and even when I'm taking obscure out of the way patting just to avoid conflict and get some quests done, I constantly run into people. Far more than this happens on any other map. I really don't know why shoreline hates me. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. It's the first week and I'm honestly much more excited than I have been for the last few patches. New content is always a really critical part of a new wipe, and a new map is always going to be a major selling point. This time we have Streets of Tarkov. It feels really intricate, and it's only a fraction of what it will be in the end. I'm not going to speak too much about it, and I'll probably end up doing a whole video about it eventually, but to me it feels a bit like a Fallout map, except instead of super mutants we have alcoholic bandits and angry streamers. It's a real joy to explore this new map, and I'm purposefully avoiding any guides or any major content about it, just because I want to discover it myself piece by piece. I love the mystery of it all. What's in this building? Food spawns? Filing cabinets? A weapon crate? 
The excitement really is too much sometimes. I have a good feeling about this patch. It's already much better than the last one. Or there wasn't really a whole pile to get me excited. And I got jaded pretty quickly. Or maybe I've just played this game too much. But I'm staying hopeful. The game isn't perfect right now, but I'm having a really good time relearning it. It feels a bit strange to say that I'm relearning a game that I have like 2000 hours in, but that's just the way Tarkov is. <laughs> I'm making lots of mistakes and I'm sure that won't change anytime soon. But I'm improving bit by bit. And that's part of the fun of Tarkov. You get failure after failure and then you get one big win and you get such a rush from that. And I don't know any other game that really gives you this kind of a sensation. Or at least not to this extent. For anyone out there thinking of getting into Tarkov, now is a great time. It's even on sale. Will the addition of Streets make this one of the best patches to date? I don't know. Maybe. Who knows. It's early days yet, but it does have big shoes to fill. Remember when they added Vipe? That was really sweet for a few weeks. Now not many people use it. I've been very addicted to this game in the past, like really down in the depths. I think those days are gone. Or at least I hope those days are gone. Maybe Tarkov's biggest days are still ahead, but for me I think this game has peaked. And that's okay. 150 euros in like 2000 hours. That's pretty good value, but I'm far from finished. Gone may be the days of playing every available hour just to barely keep up with the pack, but I'm welcoming a new era of playing Escape from Tarkov casually. Nowadays I only play a handful of raids a day. My survival rate is barely above 50%. I no longer know what the meta is, and I'm having a great time. And that's all that really matters. I can play a few rounds of Hunt Showdown or Factorio, where before every second not spent on EFT was a second I felt like I was losing momentum. I'm glad those days are gone. Anyways, I've been Mr. Mundane and I hope you enjoyed my ramblings about Escape from Tarkov. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see similar content in the future, do subscribe. Let me know what you think about this patch in Tarkov. Or other long-term players, let me know if you're still feeling that pull to progress as fast as possible. Or if you're like me and you're just a bit more laid back these days. Anyways, thank you for watching and good luck a while.